My name is Kili Igovea. I'm the general manager of Duke's Waikiki. Uh, we're coming up on our 28th year in business, um, right here in the middle of Waikiki. Um, and the great thing about where we're located is we're, we're in the center of Waikiki, so we're accessible to a lot of people. Um, but it's just a melting pot of experience where people come down and to either listen to music or get a good meal or to just watch the surf or to actually surf. March 17th, I believe, was the day we shut our doors. We went to a uh, to-go style of take or take out style of business, and it was tough for us. And being a general manager, it was hard for me to keep spirits up and and pushing people to stay positive and going in the right direction. And then eventually, we ended up clo uh, closing our doors after about uh, three weeks of um, takeout style. The small business in Hawaii is the lifeblood of Hawaii. The big box stores come and go. But we have a ton of small businesses that have been around 40, 50, 60 years. And their chances of surviving, you look at Liki Liki Jive, I, I, I want to say it was 50 something years they've been in business, and now they're not there no more. That's sad. It's going to be anybody to survive this is going to have our time. And there's going to be, I don't know what the percentage, I saw 65% of Hawaii's restaurants are considering closing in the next six months. And I, if that number actually comes to fruition, that's bad. That's really bad. The government not having a plan earlier is, hurt, is hurting my, our business, is hurting everybody's business. We're dangerously teetering on economic disaster. And I don't, I don't know if they're really worried about that. It scares me. I know this is gonna be controversial, but they're still getting paychecks. And there's a lot of the state that's not getting paychecks. So it's easy to make a decision on other people's behalf when you're not struggling as well. What we haven't done up to this point, we can't go back and fix. So from today moving forward, we have to have a better plan. The tier system has to be less punitive. There's no way a bar can survive for three more months. So we opened our doors on June 5th with a fast casual mentality. We got destroyed and it was just people wanting to be out and enjoying themselves. And we tried to do it with 12 or 15 people. We literally, by the end of that week, by the end of a two week period, we had hired up to 100 people. Just to get back to our normal, we're gonna do service. We're gonna have our buffets, but we're gonna serve them. We got back to kind of who we were because our community said, we're here. We're gonna support you. We're gonna get you through this. And I, I can't, uh, man, I didn't, we wouldn't be where we are without them. The elected officials in um, the governor's office, mayor's office, even government appointee officials, they should all take a pay cut and understand what it's like for the rest of us to live off a of fixed income, that we appreciate the federal support, so that's gone. And $648 doesn't do anything for you in Hawaii, not a thing.